Travis Wayne Goodsell. I should be going to bed, so I'm going to try to be as quick as I can to get to bed as quick as I can. I, I just got some disturbing news uh, this evening on a number of fronts. Uh, first is we've now finally seen the first business to close permanently. No more uh, will start up again after coronavirus. Close permanently. It's Hobby Lobby, a craft store. Gone. No more. Non-existent. Just like the 2008 economic collapse where businesses disappeared, Mervyn's and all that, gone. Hobby Lobby is now gone. And, uh, they're not coming back. Uh, and so that's the first thing. The second thing is CBS is reporting today, this evening, that lawmakers are telling them that the Postal Service is going to close by June. By June. Plus or minus. Those who are getting checks from this coronavirus stimulus package, I, I'm estimating that because they're saying it's going to take five months from May 4th to hand out checks, if all things being equal, five letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, will get their checks before June. Everybody else won't get their check because there won't be a postal service to deliver it. That's the second news. The third news is here in Utah. Uh, several people in my building receive a food box from the Utah Food Bank. Utah Food Bank gives out food uh, once a month, just a box of food that's donated to them, whether uh, by actual food that nobody wants, or by money donations where they go out and buy food. And they give only a supplement. It's only to last about a week for one individual. Uh, they had contacted one of the people here and notified them that for April the people are getting two boxes one for April one for May and that's it the Utah Food Bank is over until coronavirus is over and they can get more donations back again the Utah Food Bank can no longer handle the need and they're out and so those who are getting this final one for April we're getting two and Utah is out after that so nobody who's lost their jobs recently will be able to go to the Utah Food Bank for assistance for food the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints if you're living under a rock Nelson also shut down the bishop storehouses so nobody not Mormons we can't get food from the bishop storehouses either and the grocery stores are still demanding payment and they're limited because they keep getting sold out of things this is what we're facing guys coronavirus is still going strong because we didn't stop it in the beginning. Trump let it expand. He purposely let it expand. Trump is purposely exterminating Americans, destroying the economy. These are the natural consequences of a virus that the government refuses to stop. And Nelson's a part of it. He's a medical doctor. He knows all about a virus. He knows what needs to be done during a virus. And instead, he abandoned the Mormons. Abandoned them. So, I'm going to bed. It's conference tomorrow. I'll be uh, uh, obtaining it digitally for my neighbor. Uh, and I don't talk to him about being an LDS critic. 
He doesn't know any about this, anything about this. I just let him believe what he believes. And boy, howdy. I keep throwing in Mormon scriptures for him every now and then. Tonight, I uh, threw in the... Uh, if uh, you don't flee, if you don't make it to Zion, you'll have to take up the sword to defend yourself. That's what we're going to be facing here very, very soon. As people run out of money, run out of food, they're going to need to get it one way or another. Les Miserables. 